Well, this is another idea. Um, we actually in class didn't start with these wonderful texts. What we had here was what is this? Right? What is this? So everything was what is this under, underneath each picture. And then on campus students were writing things like pancake, right? I mean, obviously, uh, pancake with chocolate. And then they went nuts, of course, because they are friends as school teachers, so that's their job to go nuts. And they came up with this delicious, fluffy, eat me now citrus pancake with Belgium chocolate. Isn't it magnificent? Because when you, when you, when, as this is a kind of menu, some of you suggested wouldn't it be nice to create a little menu book or a, a little recipe book. And I thought, yes, that's great. We can make it complicated, but in a, Today's in the today's in the in the world of today, we don't want big books. We don't want huge things. So I thought, why not each why not place each recipe on one page? So I produced these sort of things. I mean, this is I've done it in 30 seconds. I found these images on Facebook. Uh, pardon me, on Google Images, and then I clicked on the image and I selected the particular way I wanted the image to look, to make it interesting for children using PowerPoint editing um, facilities, right? You can see, you can actually adjust things. Well, this one is cool, isn't it? Anyhow, and I wrote, what is this everywhere? And then in class, we were building up, building up all these adjectives. And, and also no, notice how students are learning here, eat me now. So the, the, the children are learning um, how to put it in a description and the final name for this wonderfully looking, I'm not sure about tasting, but wonderfully looking dish has equally wonderful names. So delicious, fluffy, eat me now citrus pancake with Belgian chocolate. Okay, so this is a girl. So um, we didn't know, we didn't want to, or I didn't want to, or it didn't want itself <laughs> to put all the ingredients and all the steps of cooking because this is just a picture. So we thought, Stage one, get all the necessary stuff. Of course, you wouldn't write like that. You would say something like, um, be, get prepared, or I don't know. You can work out with children what you will write. But so you have your recipe on one page and you can come up with wonderful um, descriptions of them and build them up in classroom to something as interesting as this. Right, so that's just one, one idea of an activity. Uh, it, how we can actually create quick recipes. This is another one. I found it on the web. If if you actually expand it, what it is, it's actually, remember how you ha how you do these mind maps? Well, this is a, a, a map of, which is actually a recipe of a pancake, how to make a pancake. So, I mean, nothing stops you from actually, for each of those stages in this picture, to in this uh, mind map, to start creating, to um, to produce a picture that shows people through the stages of making a cake until until you have the final one here. So our students liked it; they thought it was cool. Um, right. So these are some ideas about engaging students. So engaging students by choose things, engaging them in thinking about genre of what it could be, this particular thing here. So um, so this is happens to be a game. Genre here, um, pardon me, genre here, um, it's video, students can see it because it's got the timeline and so on. Now this is clearly scientific, so that was one way of introducing you. Then a few, then we did the games, which are very nice, and it's a, a lot of them. And um, there are also videos online with cooking with, indig uh, with indigenous foods, something that we're actually not exploring very much in our Australian shops. I mean, I don't, well, you'd have to go to a special one to actually find these things. And then the game. So these were the sort of things we were looking at in class and thinking how exciting they could be to as ideas to enrich our activities with. Thank you.